Hi y'all, my name is Taylor Ann and welcome to my little creative life. In today's video, I wanted to share a bunch of new junk journals that I recently created. This one I made for myself, and then I will have these four listed on my Etsy shop. I might try and do an Instagram feed sale, um, so I will have all of the links and stuff in the description. But I've got two soft cover journals, the single signature traveler's notebook style and they all have like crazy charms on them um that was part of the fun i love my jewelry so i um bedazzled these a little bit the second soft cover has two signatures calling this the seahorse <laughs> and then there's two hardcover journals so the um, kind of A5 size reader vintage golden book um, with two signatures. This one has kind of a soft spine, which I really like. This is the style that I would like to um, do going forward. Um, and again, lots of charms and fun stuff. I'll go through each one of these individually and have like timestamps and everything, all the information in the description. The last one um, with a hardcover is the three signature. Again, with lots of fun charms. So let's let's dive in, shall we? Not really sure what to call this as um, a collection other than the blue collection, but it's kind of my favorite things with my studio <laughs> is decked out um, in blue and this is just a lot of my my favorite things my favorite pieces of ephemera and junk um, put into journals this is another view of the studio not as clean of a view <laughs> but blue wall hanging, blue mirror, blue blanket, which is usually over on that chair with the blue pillow, blue cart, blue storage. I just really like the color blue. So I think that's what inspired this collection. <laughs> First, I quickly wanted to share my little journal that I made for myself, inspired kind of by these just because I thought they were so cute so this is like a junk mail envelope that I just covered with like coffee stained map scraps I love map scraps and lots of washi tape there's a little magnet um hidden under here um and I glued my little carnival cruise uh I don't know medallion piece in here and it it magnets, it closes. Uh, so clever, right? So um, like Dymo and rub-ons and metallic washi tapes. Um, on the inside, I just used a Hobonichi notebook. These are so cute because they're so thin and tiny and great for taking like on a travel journal or a travel adventure. Like this takes up zero space in your purse or your weekend adventure duffel bag. Um, so I think this would be so freaking cute to take as a travel journal. I added a patch on the front. I love patches and a little paper clip just to kind of keep the first few pages. They were um, notes that I was just carrying around in my bag. Um, so I just kind of taped those pages and clipped them shut and yeah cool holographic butterflies. I love butterflies. Um, that's something you'll see a lot. Um, so yeah, this is the one I made for myself and I hope to use soon uh, if and when travel ever opens back up. 
So now I guess I will share the first in the actual collection that's going to be listed on Etsy. This is the Single Spine Traveler's Notebook size. I guess I have a ruler here. Hi, my name is Taylor Ann. Welcome to my little creative life. <laughs> um, about eight and a half by four and maybe about an inch thick. Um, it is pretty, pretty full. Lots of pages in here. Um, all of the details will be uh, on, on Etsy or on Insta. Check the description. So the charm for this one, um, most of them are just paper clipped on. So if you don't like the charm or if um, it's kind of in the way while you are journaling, you can just unclip it. Take it, take it right off. And uh, I love these. I love layering jewelry. So I just had fun with like the different textures in in the charms. So um, cute little beads and miscellaneous jewelry pieces. I think this is antler, um, carved antler. Uh, buttons and beads dragonflies. I love dragonflies. And I thought this went so perfect with the cover. Buttons, lots and lots of buttons, little dream catcher. Oh, so cute. And a little bee, random, maybe for blue or bird. All of the journals have um, like a little bird charm and a saint to protect you. So that's the charm for the single signature traveler's notebook. I'll quickly flip through it. It's got like a fabric cover with some trim sewn on the front and some stitching around the side. I love this fabric so much. It's so pretty. I've had it for years and I just thought I would use it up and it makes a great journal cover. Sewn on to some cardstock. Ooh, look at that shimmer. <laughs> metallic. There's lots of like metallics because I like bling and jewelry um, and just, just prettiness and happiness. So there's some like glitter origami paper or glitter textured paper. Um, book text, Daphne's diary, um, a sticker. This is available in my shop like on its own. I just thought I would throw it in here cause it's gorgeous. Oh, look at that hollow, so gorgeous. There's tons of like little goodies stuck in to all of the journals uh, here, there, and everywhere. Here's a little, another exclusive sticker. Uh, these are almost gone in the shop. Oh, they're so pretty. I love butterflies. Um, and it's blue and it's hand drawn. Oh, it's one of my favorite stickers. Here's a little kind of notebook. You can put secret notes in there or just like brain dump maps, dot grid paper in pretty pastel colors, pretty pastel maps. Oh, I love it. Daphne's diary, wallpaper, craft wrapping paper, more like Daphne's diary, pastel calendar pages, wrapping paper, binder paper, maps, cute bows, I don't know, just all of kind of my favorite things. They're kind of travel, kind of nature. Um, I don't know, they don't really have a overarching theme. It's just all of my favorite things. <laughs> Here's a cute little like, um, what is it? Bag, <laughs> pouch, secret spot to tuck in goodies. Here's another exclusive sticker from the shop, another hollow gorgeous love it i will have um everything linked in the description beautiful wrapping paper <gasps> um look at that <laughs> perfect daphne's diary and i always put like a envelope in the middle of the signature um it just kind of hides the binding under there and it gives me a little spot to put to put goodies so the next um like the back is gonna be the same thing in reverse. 
pretty wrapping paper, pretty little secret spots. Wallpaper, this is like handmade paper and it's got glitter, pink flowers, grid paper, birds and flowers, cool buildings on the back. I just love it. If these journals don't sell, I won't be too sad. This is from Arizona. Oh, look at that uh, rose with the hand. Reminds me of my tattoo, kind of. Can you see it? <laughs> okay, sorry. Distracted. Cool, like, tie-dye wrapping paper. <laughs> All just, like, my fun, or my favorite fun things. Pocket, top pocket here with some goodies. Little tickets and flowers. Map. Polka dots. Kind of travel themed with like the maps and some of the elements. But it doesn't have to be. Because I know I'm not personally doing much traveling at the moment. Oh, look at that. So shiny. <laughs> Okay, shiny. That is the single signature traveler's notebook um, sized new blue magic memory or junk journal. The next journal in the collection is a double signature um, soft cover kind of traveler's notebook size. Where did my ruler go? Just a little bit um, wider because it does have that um, second signature. Eight and a half wider at uh, four and a half and about an inch tall. So a little bit wider, um, a little bit more room to fill it up with your goodies. The charm on this one, again, is just on a paper clip so you can remove it while you're working in your journal. It makes it a little bit easier. Or you can take it off, put it on another journal, take it off, put it in the trash if it's not your thing. <laughs> I'm just kidding, please don't. <laughs> I really enjoyed making the charms for all of these journals. I actually made a charm for one of my own junk journals. I have it here uh, kind of drying. Here's a sneak peek. Um, just some of my favorite things. It's my fourth junk journal. So I have the number four and birds. I love birds. I also have like key. I collect keys. It's got like a garden one with dragonflies and ladybugs and pumpkins and flowers and skulls and dream catchers. Uh, how perfect. So uh, this is the, the one that I made for myself and I really enjoyed making the ones for all of these, these journals. It was a blast. Maybe I can uh, do like individual listings or individual charm tassels in the future. Uh, let me, let me know what you guys think. This one's really fun. Lots of buttons and beads, a little sand dollar seahorse. I'm calling this the seahorse journal. You will see why. Uh, doesn't that just remind you of like a mermaid or a seashell? Starfish, star buttons, old jewelry, busted bracelets. This is one of my favorite beads ever. Like just the way it spins. <laughs> uh, I love it. This has another bird and some more fun stuff. Precious little sailboat. Gorgeous. Love it. So this is the charm for the double signature soft cover junk journal. Um, and yeah, let's flip through it really fast. There's a little fabric pocket on the inside and I just kind of sewed and stitched on some cardstock, some scrapbook paper and filled the pocket. This one has like a ton of goodies in it. So I don't know, I can't flip through everything, but there's, there's a lot. 
little, little cards and clips. I love this one. It's like gold foil. It's shiny. <laughs> Doilies. <laughs> Butterflies. Little fabric straps. Tracing paper. More gold shiny tickets. This is a vintage book text and it's from like the 1800s. It's so old. This is like the vintage copy or printer paper from the 90s, which feels like so old. Scrapbooking paper. Here's another one of the special blue butterflies. Just clipped on a little blue clip. Lovely blue washi tape. Film strips, these are like so cool. I have a million of these, but I always feel kind of weird adding them to my journals because some of them have like pictures of me on them. <laughs> um, so yeah, if I ever find good ones, I throw them in the books because I think they're so fun. Little uh, fabric or a trim, book text, scrapbooking paper, tickets. This one is kind of a little bit uh, narrow, like tall and skinny. Tracing paper, shiny. Scrapbook paper with butterflies, more trim, just kind of sewn on there, thrown in there. Butterflies, binder paper, doilies, scrapbook paper. This is like wallpaper, just clipped in here. This is from Babar, Babar, children's book, dictionary paper. So freaking cute. I love it. Maps. Wrapping paper. Little kind of clip. It's a um, children's book. Here's the envelope in the middle of the signature filled with tons of goodies. <laughs> so cute. Um, this is precious. Let's go like that. It's from Sleeping Beauty, I think. Seahorse. That's why I'm calling this the Seahorse Journal. Um, my boyfriend thought they were very kind of like mermaid inspired, um, which I wasn't intending, but I can definitely see it. Maybe it's just because I'm like a California girl. Um, I don't like live by the beach or anything, but maybe that kind of inspired a little bit with some of the like birds and maybe nautical or travel. I don't know, just a lot of my favorite things and my favorite colors of like blue and pink. So that is the double signature soft cover junk journal with the tassel charm. The next journal is a hard cover um, three signature junk journal. Again, there's a removable tassel charm. This one has a bunch of like trim ribbon fluffy stuff on it. There's some of that fluffy trim ribbon sewn into the cover. Uh, so you can just kind of remove this if it's not your thing. Um, but there's beads, dragonfly, a little L for locket, a little heart locket. How sweet is that? You can put some precious picture in there buttons and beads and like gemstones or crystals, gemstones, stones, polished stones, dragonfly, flowers, there's another bird, they all kind of match, turquoise, um, I did that one, star button, and some old jewelry, love it, so that's the tassel, jewelry tassel charm, I'm not sure what to call it, for the three signature, I guess I'll call this the Peacock book. Um, it's got the fluffy trim kind of sewn into the front and back cover because this was a spiral bound notebook. I just kind of tore out all the pages and removed the spiral binding and wove this through it, added a spine, um, and turned it into a junk journal. This had a completely different cover to begin with. This is my newest junk journal. Can you just see how <laughs> uh, badass it looks? But the original cover for this was definitely this mermaid. <laughs> I can see how this is a mermaid book. 
but um, this was the three signature spine and it had this really pretty gold gilded mermaid cover but it just it wasn't the right size so that's why I repurposed the little peacock spiral bound notebook and turned it into this junk journal I just removed the signatures and put them in here so um, in this junk journal there's a little pocket here in the front with some goodies and again the blue butterfly vinyl sticker I have mine um, in one of my sketchbooks and on my water bottle that I take with me everywhere it's seriously one of my favorite stickers um, yeah I'm happy to share it with you guys there's another uh, sticker that's available in the shop and some little goodies tucked into this pocket. I love like tuck spots in my journals because I usually keep like a lot of ephemera or gift cards and that's the stuff I wanna tuck in those little spots. Oh, this one is so cute. More Babar, I think, mermaid. This one is definitely a bit more <laughs> mermaid themed. Pretty gold gilded scrapbooking paper, more of that vintage book text sewing patterns, coffee dyed or tea dyed paper, little envelope full of goodies. Ooh, get that back in there. Oh, garbage truck. Thank you for making an appearance. Thank you for doing your job, actually. <laughs> um, sewing, vintage book text. Ooh, some pretty trim just sewn on there. That gold sparkly paper, binder paper. Reminds me of like composition books, I love it. Dictionary, mm, that looks like Hitler kind of. <laughs> uh, that's funny. My Melody like book uh, binder paper, little diary pages. Here's another little tuck spot filled with goodies. Playing cards and little um, like sticky notes labels. I love labels and journaling cards. More label, journaling card. Pretty shiny. Uh, oops. Dictionary, constellation, sewing pattern, origami paper, and that pretty green color. A mermaid with some fish. Oh my gosh, so cute. More pineapples and notes tickets and book text, my melody, little planner pages, uh, film strips, and note cards, note cards and goodies, wallpaper. Here's another little pocket here. This is the center signature um, right in the middle. So it has this little, this little folder that's full of goodies. This is a sticker available in my shop. Um, a la mode. Is that what it's called? Entree? I don't know. <laughs> Wallpaper. Those are those pretty stickers. I think they're included in the front for you to decorate with. They're so pretty, so shiny. <laughs> My melody, book text, pineapples. This is pretty. You can just kind of like paint over this. This is a removable tab. You can put it wherever. Paint over this, put your own journaling. Sweet, a little um, bag with some goodies. Sewing pattern. Oh, this folds way out. <laughs> Here's the other side of the constellations. Here's some stickers and note cards um, clipped in here. More of that fluffy trim sewed onto the side. Ooh, pretty vellum paper. Binder paper, here's another little um, folder tuck spot full of ooh, goodies. Oh, that came off. <laughs> this sticker is available in the shop as well. This one's definitely mermaid <laughs> themed. I should have saved these journals for mermaid. Look at that, it's just like a full sheet of gold origami paper and vellum. I would just like leave these pages <laughs> alone. Um, sparkly washi tape, sparkly trim, dictionary paper, binder paper, rainbow, how pretty. 
love it. So these journals were so much fun to create because they're like all of my favorite things, like my favorite colors, my favorite uh, pieces to use. So I hope you guys enjoy and wherever they end up, I hope, I hope they're loved. Um, and you can feel the love that went into making them. More tickets, sewing pattern, scrapbook paper with trim, mermaids. This is so cute. Just got her hair caught. <laughs> uh, love it. I love this little like text, like the font that they used in the, the vintage readers. Rainbow. My melody, cutie pie, comp paper, dictionary paper, scrapbook, pretty gold shiny paper, vellum, paint chips. Here's another exclusive or er, um, sticker. I don't know. All the mode that you can get um, at the shop, and that's the back. I just kind of added my little sticker here because there was a little bit of damage from I think a price tag or whatever. Um, but each order comes with a free little creative life, um, sticker. Uh, so this is, I just stuck an extra one down there. Um, and that is the three signature Peacock hardcover junk journal. And the last journal. So cute. This is the style that I would kind of like to continue moving forward. Um, I have a bunch of these old like vintage readers. Um, so I would like to turn them into soft cover books like this because I really like the soft cover spine. Um, this one has a um, permanent bookmark so you can't uh that doesn't have a clip you can't just like take it off um if you would like me to turn it into a paper clip just leave that in a note um when you purchase it um but yeah like i was saying i like the soft cover um on these journals because like you can get in there and completely fold the book back on itself like look at that <laughs> i love it so for somebody who's pretty hard on my journals, I love that soft cover feature. So the charms on this one are really cute. I think a little bit more like pastel or maybe retro, vintagey looking, a little cabochon. I love this yellow button, kind of flowery and there's a little heart watch and some little crochet. I think that one's so pretty. And then some cute little like raindrops. Love it. So that's the um, charms. Like I said, if you want it to be removable, just let me know, I can customize that. But I just, um, I just really like how it kind of all goes together. The pinks and like the yellow and the off-white and the greens. So this one is a little bit different, but it's kind of similar. Mainly just the pages inside and that the cover is blue. <laughs> but each journal is like a little bit different, uh, but they're all kind of tied together. I didn't do anything on the front cover or the back cover because they are just too precious. Like, I just love that. And the back is autographed by Frank the Kid. <laughs> How cute is that? <laughs> So I, I just left those in there. I didn't have the heart to cover them because they're in pretty pretty good condition. Here's some of the, the reader text and just a bunch of pretty pages similar to what I've already shown in the other books like Daphne's Diary, comp paper, wallpaper, these little bags which are full of little goodies. Here's another sticker available in the shop, and scraps, more of that pretty, pretty textured paper, grid paper, tie-dye wallpaper, gorgeous, <laughs> an envelope full of goodies, another sticker that's available in the shop, <laughs> 
I will have my shop linked down below if you're interested in anything that you see in this video. Here's another little um, butterfly vinyl sticker. Oh, so cute. A gold paper clip. Um, and just a pocket full of more goodies, more exclusive stickers. This one's cute. I love it. So I just uh, pretty much make stickers that I would want to use and that's what's on my Etsy. So that's why, um, how did I get this on here? So that's, so that's usually what I do. So these are all just my favorites. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy. So stinking cute. I love this blue map paper. I love this wrapping paper with my ring. Pinks and blues and purples. A little bit softer of a cover color palette. The third, the middle signature in this book is just this vintage stationery folder. Look at how precious it is with the little doily. So I just, um, this is the whole signature. There's no pages. There's the first signature with a bunch of pages. The middle signature is just this folder for sticking all of your goodies. And then the last signature, again, is normal kind of paper junk journal, paper taco. So inside the middle signature, um, you can just collect all of your memories. Oops, lo siento. Um, there's like goodies and tons of stationary bits in here. I just wanted to share with the new journal owner. So that is just really precious and really cute. Oh, I love that little image. Grandma in the kitchen. <laughs> love this blue map paper with all of the streets. Oh, honeybee, honeycomb, honeywood. How cute. <laughs> Craft wrapping paper, pink calendar, composition binder paper. This has got some gold gilding, vintage book text, vintage wrapping or er, wallpaper, origami paper, grid paper. More out of a Daphne's Diary magazine. I think that's where these maps came from too. I love the texture of this and like the the shape, the edge it creates. Oh, Taylor, Taylor Av, <laughs> how cute. This is from um, Chino, Arizona, where I used to live forever ago. Um, this is Taylor, how cute, I'm in your journal. This is like really pretty <laughs> embroidered handmade paper. A little envelope here, shoved full of goodies. Oops, that one's probably shoved too full. Sorry. <laughs> and then the second half of the signature is the same. The map, um, does it have Taylor Ave on here? Sunflower, California. That's cute. Oh, I love maps. <laughs> so that's why they appear often in my junk journals. Book text, some places to write, some places to add pictures, add ephemera. A little bit of everything. I try not to do too much decorating on any of these and I really did want to share like a lot of supplies so there's stuff lots of stuff especially on the tassel charms so that is the open the gate junk journal there are all of the journals from the new blue collection I guess we'll call it um, all the information will be in the description um, and I can't wait to hear what you guys think so um, leave me a comment down below and make sure you are subscribed because I've already got the makings of my newest junk journal with you guys uh, soon let me know if you guys are interested in seeing a little bit more of it it is so badass <laughs> Uh, it looks so cute. So um, make sure you're subscribed and let me know what you guys think. 
Again, all the information will be in the description. So please check it out. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. And until I see y'all in the next video, stay creative. Bye.